Hello and welcome to Track Changes in Excel 2007, a Microsoft Office tutorial presented by Logon to Learn, powered by KnowledgeWave. In this session, we will cover how to view changes to an existing spreadsheet made by other users and accept or reject those changes. The first step in using Track Changes in Excel 2007 is to turn the feature on. The feature can be found on the Review tab in the Changes region. We simply click Track Changes and then select Highlight Changes. Once we select Highlight Changes, we check the Track Changes while editing checkbox. Note, this also shares your workbook. What this means is multiple users can be using the same workbook at the same time. If this is not a desired outcome, then you may want to rethink using track changes. If this is not an issue, then you proceed. Notice I can select when, who, and where for parameters for tracking changes. In this instance, I want all changes tracked. So I'll leave the defaults and click OK. Once I do that, I must now save my document. Now I can track changes. For the purpose of this session, track changes has already been turned on in this document and some changes already made. To highlight or view those changes, I go back to my track changes button and select highlight changes. I want to see all changes made to this document and I want to see them since they were last reviewed. So I choose not yet reviewed and then click OK. Notice several blue and red boxes appear on the screen. This allows me to view the cells where changes have been made. If I hover over one of these cells, I get a pop-up that tells me who made the changes and what the change was. If I want to review these changes in more depth, I go back to my Track Changes menu and choose Accept Reject Changes. This will allow me to look at all changes and determine whether or not they are appropriate and correct. For this cell, I can see the original value was $1,000. User 1 changed it to $600 and User 2 changed it to $700. In this instance, $600 is the correct value. So I'll select $600 and choose Accept. I move on to the next change. The original value is $110. User 1 made it $115. User 2 made it $114. In this case, $114 is correct, so I select that and choose Accept. In an instance where there are not changes by multiple users, you simply choose to accept or reject the change. There's no need to select. I will accept this change, and the final change from 26 to 46.55 is inaccurate, so I will reject that change. Once I've finished, I click the Close button. We've now accepted or rejected all non-reviewed changes. However, what if you'd like to look at all changes made to the document throughout the history of its development? We can check all changes that have been made since Track Changes was turned on by going to Track Changes, and selecting Highlight Changes. Now, in the Highlight Changes dialog box, from the When dropdown, we choose All, and we choose List Changes on a new sheet. This will give us a new worksheet with all of our changes. We now have a sheet at the end of our workbook that shows all of the changes made. Track Changes is a powerful feature in Excel 2007. If you work in an environment where you share Excel workbooks and changes are made often, it can be a valuable tool for all. We hope this session has been informative. Thank you for choosing Logon to Learn powered by KnowledgeWave, educating the world anytime, anywhere.